story you'll see only on 10 Tampa Bay tonight. Family members are speaking out for the first time about how this all went down. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo spoke with them just a few hours ago. Carolina, this family is going through an extremely tough time right now after losing a 23 year old mom of two just a day before Christmas. Hours ago, they honored her life about a mile from here with a candlelight vigil. That's where I spoke to her mom off camera. She tells me that she was there when the shooting happened and is just trying to process all of this. But tonight, this family wants Abriel Baldwin to know that she is loved and her kids are taken care of. The pain is unbearable. Candles illuminate photos of 23 year old Abriel Baldwin and her two babies. They're now left without a mom. They're going to get taken care of regardless. Ariana Birch is Abriel's younger sister. She was a really sweet person. She was just special. The 21 year old comforted by the love Bree's family and friends are showing tonight, but she's heartbroken. She didn't know people cared about her. She thought nobody didn't care about her. She lost not one, but three siblings. I feel like everything is destroyed and took it from me. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri says an argument between her two teen brothers turned violent on Christmas Eve. You got the 14-year-old who's mad at the 15-year-old because mom's not buying equal amounts of gifts. Fight escalated once the family got to their grandmother's house in Largo. He takes out his gun and tells him he's going to shoot him in the head. When Abriel stepped in, she was shot in the chest by her 14-year-old brother with his 40 caliber semi-automatic gun. What she said was, knock it off. Leave it alone. Why are you doing this? It's Christmas. Seconds later, deputies say his 15-year-old brother came outside and shot his brother. Shot one time in the stomach. We are not naming the teen brothers in this case because of their ages. The 14 year old still in the hospital tonight after undergoing surgery. He is recovering charged with first degree murder. Those charges could later be upgraded. His brother is in a mental health facility getting treatment after threatening to take his own life. He's charged with attempted first degree murder. A tough loss for this family to process all three siblings gone right around the holidays. Now this story is just horrible. Hey, what's good, y'all? This is the Walker Bar for Black Authentic Truth. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for supporting me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now, this is this is sad. This is horrible. But this is the result of us following these European holidays. This is the result of us, um, you know, trying to enjoy and celebrate the things that our ancestors, our forefathers and mothers have learned during a time of turmoil. Our, our forefathers, li listen, we celebrate, and I used to celebrate, you know, all the holidays, Christmas and all that. And we do these things because our parents did them and their parents did them. But we never really analyze why did we have to do them? Our ancestors had no choice but to do this stuff. They had no choice but to celebrate these holidays. They This was a day of relief. Christmas, New Year's, 4th of July, whatever you want to call it, it was a day of relief. It was a day when you had time off. It was a day when you didn't have to do hard backbreaking work on the plantation. That's what it meant to our ancestors. That's all it was. It was a time where you, you know, you get a break. You get that yoke off of your neck. You get to eat more food than you usually could eat on a regular basis throughout the year. You get some different things to taste. You get, you know, you get a chance to drink some whiskey. You get a chance to dance and have fun and get as drunk as you want to get. That was a relief for the trauma that our ancestors suffered. That was a relief. And when you translate it into modern time, in today's time, it is a not only a relief, it, it it's the same idea. It's a, you know, you get this time off from work, time off from school. And that's why we were doing these things. And that's why it is ingrained in us to actually uh, uh, celebrate these holidays. But this is a prime example of the horror of the things that could happen. And I brought it out in previous videos, bring it out all the time. Uh, what does Christmas come from? this holiday or any of them where you will see these things happen time and time again. 
Now, this is sad. Now, this mother, the mother of these siblings, and I, for, from what we know from the news story, there, there's four of them. The sister was speaking on that on that um, news uh, story. But the 14 year old brother was mad that he seen that the 15 year old brother had more presents under the tree. Seen more of those rap presents with his brother's name on them. And then he gets in into an argument with his brother and threatens to shoot him in the head. Then this sister, this poor older sister with children of her own, gets in the middle of it and says, it's Christmas. Why are you doing this? And he shoots her in the chest. And she passes away, leaving her two children without a mother. Leaving her mother without a daughter or without three kids, the two brothers, one is going, uh, the 14 year old is charged with uh, murder. And the 15 year old, 15 year old attempted murder. So in one day you lost three children. That's got to be hard. It's got to be horrible on the family, hard on the mother. And this goes back to what I was saying about Christmas being a holiday of opulence, of materialism and of spending and selfishness. People thinking that they deserve things that they don't deserve. Spoiled brats thinking that they deserve what they think they deserve. That's what I saw. That's sibling rivalry. That's the same thing as when you feeding your children. And I'm pretty sure if you have children, you've seen this. If you have children that have siblings, you've you've experienced this where you may give them a bowl of cereal or, a, you know, a, ice, a bowl of ice cream. And they say, well, she got more than I do. He got more than I do. That's not fair. That's what that was that took this sister's life and that family. A civil, uh, um, sibling rivalry. And we're talking about uh, um, the, the selfishness of Christmas, of all these knuckleheaded children thinking that they're supposed to get something that they're not supposed to get. And why in the hell did he have a gun anyway? I, I, that's, that's another question I have. This is just sad, horrible, and this is just an example of why we shouldn't be doing these things anyway. There's no righteousness in these holidays. These holidays is all about consuming, consumption, materialism, and making money for people. We giving all our money. We the biggest consumers. We we're one of the biggest. I don't know if we're the biggest, but I'm sure we uh, on the ratio between how much money we make versus how much we spend on things, it, it, it it's a big gap. You know what I'm saying? And this is just a sad story. It's sad. That sister probably never thought that that was going to happen to her by her family member. And another question I will pose is, where's the father at? How were these siblings raised? In the story, the little sister said that the sister that is now gone, deceased, she said that she didn't feel like she was loved. She didn't feel like, you know, anybody cared about her. And so that tells you that there was a form of dysfunction and we wouldn't be surprised because as black people, we all have some type of form of dysfunction within our families. I don't care if you had two parents in your family or you was raised by a single mother or you was raised by your grandparents, whatever the case may be, we know that there is dysfunction within our families. This is just sad and this is just um, um, something that we need to learn from.